uh, again, here we are on the Swasti stand. Um, lots of people, as you can see, looking at the scopes, but hardly surprising when you've got the name Swasti. Uh, Richard Whiteley is the guy that's in charge of the scopes, and uh, we're, we're hoping in a minute to, to, to catch an interview with him. Uh, hello, Richard. How are you doing? Good to see you. Uh, and, and this is Richard, who's in charge of the uh, scopes at Sawoski. Uh, Richard, how's the show going, and, and what's this new item that we have here? The show's going very well indeed. Uh, lots of people very interested in the scopes. Oh, you've got a lot of people on this stand, so you're a busy man. No problem. And uh, here, most of them are very interested in the new uh, Z6i scopes. Um, it, it's absolutely top of the range for Swarovski, top of the range in the scope world. Yes. Um, the, the main features are you've got a, a six power graduation between minimum and maximum magnification. So right. you can get an ultra wide angle view or yes. you can zoom right in. Right. Um, this is in the middle of our range with a three to 18 and a 50 mil objective. Yes other features on it, uh, side wheel parallax, which is very popular for shooters rather than Super on the objective. On that. Super yep. And this one has illumination, oh, right. uh, central dot in the reticle. Yes. Uh, you've got daytime illumination settings and nighttime illumination settings. You can crank the intensity up or down. Oh, amazing. So you've got a whole range of intensities on either side with a slight overlap in the middle. Yes. And here we've also got the ballistic turret. Ballistic turret takes the guesswork out of long range shooting. Oh, me. Yeah. So you set your absolute zero, yes. and then it's down to you as to where you have your other zeros. You could have it say 100, 200, 250, and 300. So instead of having to aim off, you just turn this round, aim straight at it. Super quick action. Isn't Absolutely. It? Super quick action. Uh, and you can do other things with this, like have zeros. If you shoot 243 for foxes, yes. you might have a zero for 100 grain and a downrange for 100 grain for deer, and then a zero, another zero for foxes with a 70 grain downrange pretty as well. Much, pretty much covers the hunter's requirements in, in one there. Absolutely. Yeah. Superb. Well, uh, there you go. That, that, that's a, a quick synopsis from Richard Whiteley of, of uh, Sawoski. A fantastic range, and as you can see, very busy on the stand.